hello how are you back with another fragrance review i'm not burying the lead this time because this beautiful girl does not deserve to be hidden she deserves to be shown off this is valentino donna but not just donna a flanker of donna this is rosa verde green rose keep that in mind they executed everything perfectly with that one note in mind the original valentino donna is very similar to i think a chloe original chloe fragrance um it's very much so rose feminine classic airy that whole thing this is a flanker that puts the emphasis not on the flower but on the, the stem and the leaves. It's very green. It smells like you're walking through a garden, a freshly bloomed garden, and it's lovely. Um, this is an eau de toilette, so you can really go crazy and spray your hair. You can spray all over. You can really be generous with the scent. It's not going to overpower you at all. Um, this packaging, though, is what really got me. It's gorgeous. It's a glass it's a glass bottle, but it's like etched in. I mean, look at that gorgeousness. The juice inside is, I don't know if it's showing up correctly, but it's a light green minty color, which again goes back to the green rose notion. This did not come with the top. So it's just gonna sit on your vanity like this. It did come with a uh, nozzle blocker so it's not sprained if you wanted to take it with you but if you look at my previous video you can buy an atomizer and you don't have to carry or lug this huge what is this a 4.2 fluid ounce this is huge you're not getting through to TSA with this so buy an atomizer if you want to take it with you this lasts on me for four hours I think that's good you're gonna enjoy spraying this and touching up so why not um, I think this is perfect for any age range, honestly. A uh, really, really, really young girl is not going to have the taste for this yet. It's almost re re reminiscent of a niche fragrance, but anyone that is a little bit more defined, a little bit more mature, I would say at least 23 and up, you're gonna love this fragrance. I say this works throughout the entire year. However, of course, I think this scent is geared towards a spring scent hair I'm gonna wear it all the time she's beautiful um oh I don't think I even mentioned the fact that it has a nameplate right in the center that has Valentino as well very important right she's beautiful this is a woman I imagine she has like uh, she's curled her hair but it's a little bit tousled she has on a beautiful flowy dress and some heels but not too high because this woman is practical she has great hygiene, she cares for herself, she cares what people think about her, and this is her perfect fragrance. Valentino Donna, Rosa Verde. This is actually on discount a lot of places. I'm guessing it didn't do amazing at the stores um, because again, it reminds me of a niche fragrance. This isn't like something that everyone's gonna like. I'm putting that out there. Do not blind buy. Well, you, you hear my review now, so you know what you're getting. Um, but don't buy this for someone who's really picky. They may or may not like it. This is a very polarizing scent. Still feminine, but it's a, it's a, it's a strong green note in there. And not everyone's going to like it. I'm happy to have it in my collection because there aren't many fragrances out there with this beautiful combination of feminine meets green fresh note pick it up try it out tell me what you think